Hey everyone, welcome to Aki's quick start guide for making a heavyweight robot for Robot Rumble 2. First, let's go to the workshop and then click new robot. Go ahead and let's build, press new chassis shape and then just make a square on the right side of the screen just like so. This will be our starting plate, our base plate as we say and press the check mark button to confirm and go ahead and press option 1 again press the check mark now head over on to materials and then click on the base plate set it to titanium and then set all sides afterwards go to tint and set it to around grayish color just like so this is for just to make it identifiable so that this is our base plate now go to extras and then shapes and then I want you to press the cube just like that but before that go ahead and click this thing on the left here the sidebar turn on mirror or alternatively, alternatively you can press M which is a lot more easier just like so so turn it on and put it just like so on the side here you know it's on the side when it's well facing the side basically so now click on this and then click on here the right side uh, the sidebar change it to scaling this button here or you can press number three for scaling which is a lot easier so you don't have to move your, your mouse around too much so just like so, press number 3 or this button here and then change the z-axis to 0 0.1 or 0.1, the game knows now make sure that it's all in line, not, you know, it's not jutting out or anything like that or like this, make sure that it's all flat and make sure everything's just right to make sure that it is right you can also check the positioning here the x, y, and z axis your base plate is at around well, 0, 0, 0, right? and then the z axis should be close to 0 everything should be 0 except for the x axis because the x axis goes sideways so you want it to just snugly fit to there and then the y axis to be yeah, 0 0.5 looks alright. Now, it will show as a red outline because it's not welded. So, sometimes the game just doesn't recognize it too well. So, just press materials and go back to extras. Now it's welded. The game recognizes that it is snugly fit and it's connected to the base plate. Now, go to materials, click on this, and then set to titanium. You can set it to any color you want, that's up to you. Now that we got this thing, set, uh, click on this now. Press scaling for number 3. And then just go ahead and do it like that. So that we can extend the base of our bot, the base of our bot, just like so. Next, I want you to click on this and then copy or you can press C you can copy this this is copy this button this is copy with all the things but you don't need to know that right now so just go ahead and press this or you can press C put a shortcut on your keyboard or turn off the mirror or you can use M I recommend to use the keyboard shortcut so you don't have to move the mouse around too much just follow what I do here just like so and make sure that everything is snugly fit just like so right so basically we got the base plate here you know, the basis where all our bots can be on can be put on so now we can start putting things inside it, the internals, batteries and all that. So 
go ahead and start putting some waters on it so we're gonna start with doing the drive let's put on the drive for the drive let's use a uh, this cat 3360 this one turn on mirror now you can just press a or d o w a s d and q e like so to move around the uh, rotate the part just like so or you can just place it on there just like that and then press number two or this button for rotation and then just roll it okay rolling it to the side just like that I prefer the the shortcut buttons press is easier also um, go over here the rotation snap change it to 45 that makes it <coughs> that makes it a lot easier see it, it snaps right onto the 45 degrees which makes it a lot faster to work with right so we got one motor here go on ahead and go to transmission and then put on a gearbox maybe a small gearbox a medium gearbox here put a medium gearbox on it you can see that it's jutting out so you don't really want it to jut out like that so by the way you don't want it to clip like that you know you don't want the part to be clipping into your motors because that will be illegal and unrealistic so to avoid that you can just move it side just like that or uh, if you have OCD like me <laughs> you can turn off snap on the left sidebar here and then just drag it to the left slightly to the left as much as it feels like it's snug okay now turn snap back on you can do that by pressing G on your keyboard right we got one motor I mean a pair of motors for the left and right drive we're gonna put another one but before we do that let's put a belt transmission or a chain whatever you like both are the same they're just cosmetic yeah, just like that make it all the way down the size make it smaller and drag it just like so just drag it like so you want it usually i would like it to be 0.5 so that it's smaller more space efficient just like so next uh, let's go to extras shapes and then let's add a cylinder on it Oh, I can't, can't really see. Can't really. It's okay. If you're not sure whether if you've put this thing on the belt properly or not, you can just go ahead and check the the position, X Y Z position of this. If it's correct on the Y and Z axis, that means it's correct. The X axis usually it can be. Not needed to be the same. Ah, change the scale by pressing three or scaling. Just move it down to around maybe zero point three on the X and Z axis. Right, just like so. Go to materials, click here, and then set to titanium. Just like so. Since everything is so white. You can't really tell what is what sometimes. So I would prefer to put anything that's rotating to be the color blue. Like so. So that I know that this piece is a moving part. So I want that to be a bit special. Actually, you know what? I don't think this chassis will fit all our components. So let's make it bigger. Click on this. Change to scaling by using the 3 button or this button here and then just go ahead and make it bigger 
That should be good. And then also similarly to this side, make it bigger. Good. Oh, is it too big? Actually, it's fine, whatever. Go ahead and do that. Whatever, anywhere is fine. Okay, just place it there, anywhere is fine, as long as it's going to be a four wheel drive. So I will show you that later. Go ahead and just make sure it's snuggly fit. Sometimes there's a snapping, doesn't like to snap properly here. So either you can just increase it by one more, click on the side here, increase it by one more, and then do that as well. So the scaling snaps into place. Right. So we got the rod for our, our shaft for our wheels. Let's add our tires now. Usually it's fine to just use uh, this kind of tires for tutorial purposes. So let's just go ahead and go to the wheels and then choose any one of these wheels. Should be fine. And just place it on there. Again, if you're not sure if it's centered or not, just check with these two, the rod and your wheel. The X and Y is this should be the same. And then you'll know that it's properly fit. Right, now that you have your drive motors, go ahead and click on the transmission here, change it to 10 to and 0 0.4, just like so. This is for the gear ratio, which is This is for the gear ratio, which is important for making sure that the robot has have enough torque for it to move properly. So just go ahead and make sure that nothing is clicking, just like so. Right. So let's lift this motor up a little bit so that it's floating ever so slightly above the chassis. Right, that looks good. Okay, now click on this motor and then shift C to copy the whole thing, like so. If you only press C here, you only copy your motor. So shift C will copy the whole piece at the, uh, attached to it. Or you can press this button on the right here to copy the whole thing. So any is fine. Right, once you have that in hand, Go ahead and pop it down here, and then change the rotation. Rotate it down like so. Oh my god, what? Why does it not want to go down? Okay, there we go. Alright, so you want this to be around the same line as this motor, right? So check the X and X, Y, and Z axis. Actually, just X and Y because Z is moving backwards, as you can see here. So aligning on the X and Y axis. So one two five, one two five. There we go. And then zero point zero four five. Zero point zero four five. Just like so. That way you know that your motors are in line. Let's move the motor a little bit more out. So around 0 0.195, 0 0.195, there we go, okay, so click on this belt here, move this, just like so, okay, that's fine, now you have your drive assembly here, so for wheel drive, as you can expect, it should move once we set everything up properly. Next, we need something to hold these things. 
these motors and stuff because if you hold these things it's gonna glow red and no matter what you do it's gonna fall off okay. see everything just falls off if it's not held it properly so we need something to hold these motors onto so get uh go to extras shapes and then go to um, let's use a half cylinder yeah that's nice that's good okay. use a half cylinder drop it down here remember to turn on mirror so that it mirrors on the other side go to materials press and set to titanium change the color to maybe gray perhaps should be fine and then just rotate this around like so and then move it so that it's holding the motor properly just like so zero so z axis is 0 0.17 175 so a bit more 175 okay it's correct on the z axis so that means it's in line right now it looks like the motor is held properly but is it so we need to check it's not so whenever it's you know you're not sure make sure to give it a test so that you know that this the motor is properly seated or attached in this case it means that something is not properly welded which is this half cylinder it's not welded properly so go ahead and click on this and then turn off snapping or you can press G just slightly move it downwards like so okay right now test it if the motor stays on the chassis that means that it's welded properly you can press flip see the motor stays on that means it's welded properly it's holding on to the base next do the do the similar thing for the rest of the piece here so you want something to hold this belt usually you can just click on this piece this base here copy press c make sure to turn on snapping you can press g and then just like so, place it on the side there and then click on this thing because it's so tall change the scaling by pressing 3 just move it lower lower it keep lowering it until it looks proper enough okay now we got something holding on to the belt hopefully you can check this if this is properly held then it should stay on nope make it all a mess so that means we still need to weld this part together so go ahead and click on this rod copy it and then just put it right over here Oops. and then press 3 to change the scaling like so you can just kind of eyeball this if it's um yeah that's like that you can kind of just eyeball it so this should hold if it looks right to you and then go ahead and change the scaling back to a longer rod you can check how far it is by going to materials and selecting the rod so it's that far make sure it's going into the transmission the gearbox so that it is also holding the gearbox together if you want you can extend it all the way into the sim uh, the half cylinder here so that it has an additional layer of attach attachment or weld points just like so now go ahead and test it press this button you can see that everything is held together now nothing is falling off just nice okay now we have you have to do the same for the 
from part 2 so click on this half cylinder and then press C to copy and then you can just press Q or E to rotate this around makes it a lot easier to rotate that around just like that and then snugly fit onto here make sure the Z axis is correct or not it's up to you and just like so and then do the same for the rod here too kinda just eyeball it into place just like so and then go to materials and back to extras to make sure that it's connected it's like it's still not welded so this thing is not properly onto the chassis so click on this turn off snapping ever so slightly move it down so that it's clicking into the base turn snapping back on and then press test again now you can see everything is connected it's all just nice so no matter what you do it just stays on look at that foot right so now that you have your drive assembly in your bot we need something to power the motor to give it some drive so go ahead to power and then batteries we're going to use a simple largest battery here this one so this will be this will power our drive just like so just put it on like here make sure mirror is on so that you have two on both sides i mean one on each one on each side lift it up a bit so that it's off the base so that it's you know it's not clipping under the board like that you don't want that because <laughs> for obvious reasons so move it up just like so just slightly up above so similarly the battery needs to be held as you can see if you don't hold it it just spontaneously combust <laughs> So go ahead and go to extras, shapes, and then let's add a hollow box this time. Just like here. Put it there. And then let's go to scaling. Press 3. And then just lower it ever so slightly. Make sure the Z axis is the same. So 0, 0, 1, 5. So 0, 0, 1, 5. So let's make this box to hold our battery. Just like so. Now oh, that looks nice. Okay. Go to materials. Click on the box. And then change it to titanium. And change it to grey. So that we know that it's a, it's a structural component. So we got our battery held onto the chassis now make sure that it is properly held on to press s flip it around a little bit yeah that's good the battery is not falling off that means it's held properly right next let's put go to electronics go to receivers let's, let's put an rc receiver here turn off mirror and press m just put it right about there. Press the materials and back to extra. To make sure that it's properly welded. Right. Now we need go back to electronics. We need the ESC. Go all the way to the right here. We're going to use the Trumper VSC sixty one twenty for the black Trumper. We're gonna need four of these. So turn on mirror. And then you can put it anywhere you want really. Let's put it away. Lift it up a bit. Maybe one or two. Try a bit. Make sure that it's not clipping into it. The wires and the uh, this thing can clip into the into the motor just fine. It's it's allowed. But if that bothers you, just click here, change to press number two for rotation. And then Q, Q or E, rotate around, just like so. 
that's fine, right? So we got two, we need two more. Press this, press C to copy. So put it on there, snugly fit. It should be similar on the X and Z axis. Like so. Got it. So that's our ESC. So this will control our motors for driving. We need something to hold this ESC too. So go ahead and press click on this box, copy it, press C, and then place it down here. Similarly, change the scale by pressing 3, make sure it's snugly fit onto ESC. Move it around if so needed, press 1 for translation, and then go to materials and back up. To make sure that everything is snugly fit, just like so. Right, this is the core components. We got it all down. Now let's go to controls. RC receiver here. Move it up, just like so. This is this will control our robot. You can press G to um, tab out, in and out of the screen. So you can see what is what. You can click on them. So by pressing this, it shows that it's this motor. So this is our right motor, and this is also our right motor. So let's go ahead and take this to the side like this. And then another one to the side is. Oh, before I forget, go back to electronics. We're gonna need a wiring splitter. Get a two port battery hub. Turn on mirror so that you have a couple of it. Just place it over here. Go to materials and back up again. Make sure it's properly held on. At this point, seems like we haven't tested the robots um, welding properly in a while. So let's go ahead and test it. Give it a flip, nothing falls off. Perfect. So, right now that's confirmed. Go back to controls. We're gonna start making the robot move now. So, this is our battery over here. Move it up here. This is the motor. Move it anywhere down here, relatively. This is the two port battery hub. Link it up. Just like so. This is the ESC. Move it somewhere like this. So this is our right drive motors. Yep, right drive. Okay. Link it up just like so. So basically the hub shares allows for the battery to be shared for two motors. That's why we need the hub. Otherwise, it can only be used for one motor. So we got that linked up. Next, uh, do the similar same thing on the left side also. On the left drive. Just like so. Connect it. And then get the trumpa VLC just like so. It doesn't need to be perfect. But it's just me. The OCD is killing me. Right, now you got it all linked up. Go to RC receiver. On number one, connect it to the left drive trumpa. And number two also. Number three, connect it to the right, right drive trumpa ESC. Similarly to number four. Now on channel one, it's your left drive so, uh, L motor. L motor, R motor, R motor on channel 3 and 4. Right. This should allow our bot to move. So give it a test inside. Press WASD to move the bot around. Look at that. It's moving. Look at it go. There we go. 
you're satisfied and happy with your first um, success <laughs> let's start adding a weapon exciting isn't it oh my gosh what's happening to that thing anyway we can now start adding a weapon so a weapon similarly needs a motor to make it spin so that let's add a motor for the motor we're going to use a purple uh, purple cat which is this one cat 30 100 brushless okay, so go ahead and click that turn off mirror press M and then just mm, gently place it on there press number two for rotation press A or D or anything that works I guess or if you're confused like me <laughs> use the use the thing there rotate around okay now make sure it's just slightly floating above okay the, that's our weapon motor right similarly the weapon motor may or may not need this uh, the gearbox here you can put one it'll make your job a lot easier but the downside is that it will use more space but for a weapon motor it is unrealistic to be using a small or medium gearbox so we'll be using a large gearbox so go to motion transmission use a large gearbox here boy as a chunky chunky boy Lift it up a bit so that it's floating. Right, just like so. And if you're bothered, press G to turn off snapping and then snugly fit it onto the motor. Right. Now this thing needs to be held also, similarly. So press this, copy, and then press Q or E. To move it around position on the z axis is 085 so 085 change the scaling by pressing number three just like so and then make sure it's holding the robot like so the transmission also needs to be held so let's go ahead and like a frame for it to be held on so press press on this side panel here copy and then place it over here on the floor make it smaller yes that's fine yep that is Let's go and add a chain transmission on it. Put it on right here. Drag it around. Make it smaller. Usually I do 0.5. And then yeah, just kind of imagine where your spinner will be. So we can put it somewhere over there. Yeah. Okay. Now click on this rod, copy it, and then we're gonna eyeball it and just put it just like that. Perfect. Now everything should be held on just nice. Put quick materials and back, and back up. So the motor and the transmission, the gearbox is connected but this one is still not held properly. So let's go ahead and do that. Copy this panel, put it somewhere more or less the same spot as this. It's around 105, so 105. Just like so. By the way, if not if you're not sure, you can also just copy this, control C, and then paste it. Control V. And then press enter. 
it'll move it exactly to the spot too. Right, so since we're gonna need this to be held on, change the scaling, press 3 and change the scaling to so make sure it's held on just nicely. Actually, um, move this out of the way. We're gonna need two of these. So, turn on mirror and then copy this so that you have. One on, each, one on each side so make sure it's 105 you can also just type in the number just like so and delete this one right get the rod here copy the mirror is still on so leave it on kind of just eyeball it somewhere there hmm that looks good. That bothers you, you can kind of just move this chain to the side. Just like so. Yeah, that's fine. Click on this rod and then press 3 to change the scaling. Let's move it. Make sure it's not kind of not clipping out into each other. It's fine if it's clipped. But it's a waste of uh, space basically. It's just more weight. Like, if I snugly fit it just like so, it's around um, 0 0.095 kilograms. But if I extend it like so, you won't, you can't tell if it's clipped or not, but it's a lot heavier 0 0.142 kilograms. So, so, if possible, try to optimize the weight of your robot. So make sure it's just snugly fit. Yeah. Right. Let's test inside again to make sure everything is welded and stays on properly. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So if you confirm that everything is held on just nicely, let's start adding a spinner on here. So bef before you can add a spinner, you gotta move this out of the way. So and just drag it out of the way for a spinner let's use the custom shape for it go ahead and go to extras and then custom shape press the new custom shape so as you can imagine a spinner would be circular and have teeth basically so let's do that let's just add a teeth here and then make somewhat something that looks like a circle I guess it doesn't need to be perfect so don't worry about it just make sure everything looks nothing too out of place Yep, that's fine. So that kind of shape. So it's basically kind of aligned. Right, like so. So you got this kind of shape, somewhat circular, but not not too circular, not too circular. It's still rough on the edges, but it's fine. So you got the shape. It's real big. Change it. Change the scale factor to 0.2, and then. Press another layer, and then this is fine. I think maybe zero two five should be okay. Press OK. Then collision detection. You have to test each collision detection to see if it's set properly. This one, it's not following the lines. So check for all the options. This one is also not following the lines. Not following the line. This one looks. Perfect. So option four will be our choice. You can check under here to make sure the line follows properly. Press OK. So name it Spinner. Right. 
before we can add the spinner onto this, we're gonna need to put a rod through it first. So turn off mirror, add a rod here, and make it bigger. 0.4 perhaps. Change the color so that this is a different color. Because when you slot this into here, you want to see that it's a different color basically. It's, it's a different piece. So now you've got this rod in here. Snugly fit it into the chain. And then pull on it all the way to the end. Now we can add the custom shape spinner and then put it right over here. Make sure it's connected to this rod. You can see, you can check it by the yellow outline here. If it's connected to the rod, the yellow outline on this rod should be shown. Yeah, now we're not sure whether if it's centered or not. So again, we we'll use the X, Y, and Z axis. So this time only Y and Z. Make sure the Y and Z are the same. Z is correct. Y is correct. So nothing is out of place. Move it into the center then. More or less centerish. Okay. Go to materials. Select this thing. Then set it to titanium or Hard ox. You can set it to hard ox. Titanium is lighter than hard ox. So if you want a heavier weapon and stronger, you can use a hard ox. But of course, it's a lot heavier. Changes change this weapon to maybe red, perhaps. Yeah, red should be fine. Should be fine. Now click on this. Change the scale by pressing three. Now, it's a big spinner, so you don't you don't want this spinner to be hitting the floor when it spins. So you kind of want to check it when it spins. Click on the spinner, change the rotation, press number two, and then press Q or E to change the rotation. Also, this spinner is actually not spinning the right way because we want it to spin it like this, but the teeth is not at the right angle. So what do we do is press number three for scaling options, put a negative here. So it will flip it over just like so. Now we got the teeth facing the right way. You can check by just rotating around, pressing E. Okay. Usually what I would like to do is make it as low as possible so that it can hit as low as possible boy that's a big spinner I think it's too big for my liking perhaps but it's humongous but whatever right let's just let's just ball it we'll roll with it so we can center it more or less just eyeball it right got that on now we need to slot in this rod for welding make sure that it's properly welded in place just like so okay that's good press materials and back out again to make sure it's welded and then test so right everything is held on together just nicely perfect For this weapon, we we now we're gonna make this weapon spin. So let's go to controls now. Right, we have the motors, but we don't have the ESC. Let's add that one right quick. So go to electronics, ESC, and then add the Trumpa seventy five two hundred. Add that on, just like so. So this trumper needs to be held on by something too, so copy this, put it here, same thing really, change the scaling by number 3, 
which is not just like so. Press materials and back out again. Make sure it's held, and that looks like it's held properly. Right now we got the ESC. We still need the battery for the weapon though, so let's uh, add a bit more power to it then. Let's add one more battery. Go to power batteries and then add this forty eight point one volt pro battery. Just place it here. That should be fine. Or you can kinda just stack it really. Actually, let's stack it. Click on this battery and then turn on mirror. Press copy. Place it down on top of the other battery, just like so. Then rotate it. Is it the same rotation? Oh yes it is. So we're gonna align it properly. So make sure the X and Z axis is the same. So let's copy the 195, paste it here, copy the Z axis here, put it here, and then the Y axis to make sure that it's not clipping into the other battery because that's a no-no. Go to the sidebar here, turn on transparent shapes. Now all your shapes are transparent, you can see things clearly. So move this battery up slightly. Oh, it's fine. Yep. Okay, now turn off the transparent shapes. Now change the scaling for this box that's holding the battery. Like so. Now we have two batteries. We gotta need another splitter here. So a wiring splitter. So add another two port battery hub, but just one. So turn off mirror. Put it here. You can rotate it around if you want. Just like so. I want you to go back to materials and out again to make sure everything's held properly. Perfect. Right, let's go to controls and wire things up. Now we got the ESC and we got the weapon motor. This one. So this is the battery. Let's move it down a little bit more. Okay. Now where is our battery? Usually when you copy things, um the game likes to stack onto an existing part, like this one. So this is actually our new batteries. Ta-da! It's hiding there. <laughs> you can confirm that by just clicking on this and you can tell this is a new battery and clicking on this and this is also the new battery. So we just drag them both down here. Link it up. Link everything up. Just like so. Right. Now on the RC receiver, on the channel number 5, link up to... Oops. Link up to the Trampa VESC. So the 75200. And then set the channel 5 to double toggle. So input positive is space and input negative is Z. So this means that the spinner can spin both ways. Let me show you. I think everything's ready. So give you a test. It moves. Now test the spinner. Press space. Spin it up. Now it's spinning in the wrong direction. So go back out to controls and then click on the motor. Reverse direction. And then go back in the test test box. Now it's spinning but it's spinning really slowly. This is because our gear ratio is not good. So let's change our gear ratio a little bit. Let's change it to 2 perhaps. So make it to 1. Spinning slightly faster. 
go open um, go ahead and open the telemetry and then check the weapons the weapon section here so this is your stat uh, the stats right now your tip speed is wow it's over the tip speed limit of 300 we're gonna turn it down a bit more we can do that by just changing the gear ratio let's put five this time Spinning a lot faster now. Ooh, very really fast tip speed. It's still still over the tip speed limit, so let's change it a little bit more. We'll change here, change it to seven perhaps. Okay. Wow, still over the limit, huh? Do nine. Okay, looks good. So now you got your vertical spinning robot. Test it around, move it around. Oh, the weapon's gone. The weapon is gone. Okay, now the weapon durability is not really good because it just disappears after one hit, right? So let's change it to titanium and then the thickness slider here. Turn it all whoa, let's, let's, let me, okay. put ten. Yeah, ten should be fine. And then your on the material step also on the titanium tube. Just make the thickness on the tube twenty. The shaft basically. Okay, now let's add another piece perhaps. Put another one on here. Just go ahead and copy. Make sure mirror is not turned on. So make sure it's in line. If you're not sure, just go ahead and use the Y and Z axis. So 2, 1, 5, and 22. So 2, 1, 5, 22. Just like so. Perfect. There's a big spinner. What concerns me is the amount of gyro it will have. We'll go ahead and just test it out. It should work. <laughs> it should work. So, as with all big weapons, it has a lot of gyro. So, when you turn around, you just do that. But it works. So, go ahead and press this button here to spawn a 100 kilogram crate hit it so if you're satisfied let's go so this is a working robot basically so now you can see that we the weapon has stopped after a while since we've been hitting the box for a bit. This is because the weapon has burnt out basically. Ah, this one, motor number 5. The temperature has went up too high while we were hitting it and it has burnt out. So that's not good. To mitigate that, you can just either make the weapon lighter or Turn down the change the gear ratio to 10, 0 0.9. So that means that the weapon will be spinning a lot, not as fast, but it should help with yeah, like, like so. It will help with not to overheat too much. That's fine. Now that we have a working bot, let's close it up, you know? Let's close it up. So click on this side panel here. Change the scaling by pressing number 3. Just raise it up just slightly above this. And then copy this. Turn on mirror, press M. 
and then place it just like so so it's snugly fit close it just like so now you don't want it to click uh, through the chain so that's unrealistic right so we, we will copy this one and then place it to the side here click on this change the scaling basically we're just making the superficial armors here the external armors just like so so we got a box here now similar thing click on this panel here copy this and then place it behind turn off mirror now we know for one that this part is same the same height as this part so we don't need to worry about that so make sure it's at zero position now change the scaling by pressing number three and just close the box the box is closed the front is not closed so copy this click on the back here copy this but this time turn on mirror and then press Q or E rotate it around just like so and then close it change the scaling as with the previous that we did and we just kinda just gonna do that just like so now we go we got our vertical spinner so everything works it's moving it's spinning it's hitting uh, uh, the box just nicely it's throwing the box around it's 100 kilograms by the way and I'm sure you know that so yeah it works it goes fast so this tutorial should serve as a good fundamental or give you the basics of what you can do in this game so you can use all the techniques that I've shown here to build any kind of robot that you want additionally if you feel like um, getting inspired with some more designs you can join us here at RR2 discord server link will be in the description and check out our bot file sharing channel we have tons of cool people here sharing their designs sharing their robots here and you can check it out you can download it and basically be inspired that is all so thank you for watching